Mackenzie Pabstich here in Times Square, joined by Tom Aspinall. Tom, I imagine the last couple of weeks for you have been a whirlwind. What's it been like? It's been a whirlwind, yeah, to be honest, yeah. Um, well, I didn't have a visa, so that's been a bit of an issue. Got the visa, obviously, that's why I'm here. And doing the world's shortest training camp. I mean, it's not, to be honest with you, two weeks isn't a training camp, especially when you're fighting across the world. Um, got to do the whole travel, get used to the, the time change and all that kind of stuff. So, yeah, I'm just winging it. I'm here and I'm uh, looking forward to Saturday. Well, we're happy to have you here. Thank you. And I loved something that Michael Bisping had said to you in an interview somewhere. He said, it's not a two week training camp. It's the decades yeah. of work and sacrifice that have gone into this moment. How do you think that mindset is an advantage for you going into Saturday? To be honest with you, me and Mike, we like to wind each other up a little bit and get on each other's nerves. But that was actually incredible advice, like it really was. Uh, I never even really considered that. I was always a bit like, ah, I'll be all right, two weeks. But he's absolutely right. Like, I've been working my whole life for this. I've been involved with martial arts since I was eight years old, something like that. I'm 30 years old now, so, yeah, I, I just think it's a lifetime of work. He's absolutely right. It, the, the last six, eight weeks aren't really going to make a difference to the last nearly 20 years. So, yeah, I'm excited. I'm looking forward to it. I've seen you describe this whole experience as a dream yep. in a lot of places, but at what point did it really sink in? Is there a moment that you can remember where you're like, oh, this is real? Yeah, we're still not there yet. We're still not there. I'm sure when uh, we got big Pavlovich throwing bombs at me on Saturday night, it will be there. But uh, no, to be honest, I think it's worked quite well for me mentally uh, because I've not had time. I've not had the countdown to like, oh, there's eight weeks left, oh, there's six weeks left, oh, in this. There's none of that. It's just like, right, I'm in the gym, I'm doing the media, I'm doing the visa, and then next minute I'm in New York, and uh, I'm sure it's going to hit me on Saturday night, that's for sure. Almost not enough time to like think about exactly. what's even going exactly. on. I think that's quite good, though, in a way. Okay. And Madison Square Garden, you mentioned, yeah. there are athletes, especially in our sport, that wait their entire lives and don't even get the chance to do this. Now, the biggest fight of your career is going to happen inside MSG. What is that like for you? Well, I've just been there actually for the first, I was there last night, but I've just been inside for the first time now. And uh, incredible arena, beautiful arena. I think, me personally, I think that MSG is the best place in the world to fight for a combat athlete. And yeah, it's gonna be an amazing night Saturday, can't wait. Couldn't be any more fitting because when you spoke to us in July, you said, I will be the next heavyweight champion. Yep. I think maybe your your vision for that would, was a little different than the way that it has panned out. But when you think about your goals that you set and the way that you've manifested them, you, you did it. Yeah, and when I talk about like manifesting and that, I don't like to think about, you know, I don't sit there meditating with crystals on me and all that kind of stuff like these people do. But um, when I actually think about it, I honestly truly believe like this is my destiny that it happened this way. and. It's like all the parts kind of moved out the way to set the path for me to come in there and win on Saturday night. And I just got to win now, that's it. And, and I feel like everything else took care of itself and I've just got to do my bit now, which is win on Saturday. And not necessarily an easy job. You've said that yep. Sergey is one of the most dangerous fights in all of the UFC. So when you prepare for an opponent like this, what is the key, the biggest key to success? Oh, he's definitely dangerous. He, I honestly think he's like the most dangerous guy in the UFC. I've got to be on the move. I can't stand there and trade with him. The guy has insane power. And I can't let him, i got to, I got to work to my strengths. I don't want to work to his strength. I've got to use my brain in this fight. And I can't be stood there trading with him because it's absolute suicide. I've got to be on the move and, and doing my thing, not doing his, his thing. More dangerous than a fight with John Jones? I think that John Jones is better than him, but I think he's more dangerous than John Jones. Yeah, definitely. Less time to break down fights, because like you, he's not spent much mm -hmm. time actually in the octagon. When you think of the biggest threat that he brings to the table, what is it? Oh, his power, 100%. Like, it's not just his power though. You know, the guy picks his shots really well. I think every heavyweight carries knockout power, every single one of us. Uh, but not everyone has the credentials that he has. I think he is so, he has so many knockouts on his record because he picks his shots really well. He throws the right shots at the right time. He's clever, he's got a high, high, uh, high fight IQ. That's pretty difficult to say. Um, and he uses his skill set really well. He uses his attributes really well. And I've not got to let him do that. I can't play his game or I will lose. 
When you have an interim title on the line, especially in a division like the heavyweight division that's been so turbulent over the last couple of years with title, like who holds the title and maybe who's fighting for it next, how do you bring more stability to a division like this one with the interim title? Well, heavyweight MMA is heavyweight MMA. It has its own rules. It takes, it takes one shot at any division but we're just massive guys. It's so the, the gloves are so small and we're so big that it's hard to have any kind of stability or consistency as a champion, I would imagine. I'm obviously not a champion yet, but uh, I think my skill set is superior to most of the heavyweights. And I think that my fight IQ is superior to most of the heavyweights. And I want to use that to my advantage and try and stay on top for as long as I can. Not to get ahead of ourselves here, but come Saturday, you win the title. Mm -hmm. The thought is that the next fight could be to unify the title yeah. against John Jones. And just a couple of months ago, we were talking about, oh, John Jones doesn't know who I am. Mm -hmm. When you think about the growth that could happen in just a year, what sort of emotions come to mind for you? Well, we are getting a bit ahead of ourselves. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, it turns out I've seen John Jones mention my name a few times now. And he seems like a bit of a fan of mine, which is unbelievable to me. Like I'm such a fan of his. Um, yeah, that's an absolute dream fight. I would love that fight. I would absolutely love that fight more than anything. There's no disrespect to John Jones. Like, I want to fight him because I'm such a big fan. I want to test my skills against his skills. And that is definitely a, a fight that I want before he retires. If you visualize this at all, and if not, try to do it now, mm -hmm. getting your arm raised inside yep. Madison Square Garden, getting the interim belt wrapped around you, what is the first thing you think that will come to mind in that moment? Oh, I don't know. I mean, all the hard work's paid off. All the hard and the self-belief as well. You know, it's the, this sport is a lot about your belief in yourself. And when I first started fighting, I didn't really have that, and now I have loads of that. So, um, yeah, that would be nice to know that the belief in myself has paid off. Definitely. Couldn't be more fitting that this is the way everything has panned out. Can't wait to watch a fight. Thank you. Thank you so Thank much. You.